It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, it's time for the new classic 8-bit FCTV game console. In other words, we have a new Mini NES Classic. We have a new year. New Mini NES Classic systems are coming out. They still producing all of it's, it's serious, it's unbelievable. After all those reviews, I have maybe reviewed, uh, well, let's say about 10 of these systems, and they're still making new ones. So what did they improve or swapped out? So this one got 557 games, that's a little weird amount. It still got composite, so we are from the composite back from, first we had composite, then we have HDMI, and now we're back to composite. But we have wireless handles, so yeah, we can play wireless. Ooh. This is what we're going to get. I'm very curious. Let's do an unboxing, people. I want to know how can I open it? How can you open it up? And this is what we are go get. Hey, this is very unique. It's funny. Two wireless handles. Indeed. Power supply. Wow, a very short flimsy AVL cable. A piece of toilet. Wow, this is this is a long time I've seen a piece of toilet paper manual that is pretty damn basic. And a little adapter for the power supply. Let's do a little bit of a review what we're going to judge. Let's take a close look at the system itself. They have their own, let's say, unique uh, design. They swapped it out. The first generation was a rip-off of the original one. Sometimes a really one-on-one -on -one copy, but now nowadays they have their own family computer system, games power system. Alright, the wireless controller. On an off switch here. Oh, it seems to be they have... Wow, we can charge it. Okay, this is a new one. Normally you always use, need to use batteries. Oh, got a little bit of these round buttons. That's new. Hmm. Ooh, very clickish. But then overall, hmm, they look very nice. So yeah, the only thing we can do now is hook it up. Let's see what kind of games we have and how does the signal output is and etc, etc, etc. Let's go. Alright, this is where we're going to get one powering on the system. Okay, wait. Wait, go back to the box. What does the box have? The box has 557 games built as well. Why does it say 380? Oh my god. <sighs> but the music makes it good. Listen. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the games that are on it. Alright, this starts great. Mario 10, 14, 16, they're all homebrew games. Oh, ah, the troll is really responsive. One big mess, if you ask me. Mortal Kombat, oh man, the Mortal Kombat full rip-off game. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Alright, alright. Pizza Boy. A lot of homebrew games. I go to the end of the list, but I can tell you already. I am not um no, I'm not I'm not even happy. Oh, they even put two games on it. The same games. So we're back at the 90s again with all those double games. I see a lot of familiar games, a lot of homebrew games that really suck. Yeah, let's play some games. Let's play some homebrew games. I am uh, very big inference in the sound. I don't know if you can hear it. All right, we have this Jackie Chan game that we did put Mario in. I've seen it a lot on um, on cheap portable systems. Wow, a lot of screen tearing. 
Push the floor. Oh yeah, the cheap ass way of just spamming. Oh wait, we're going to use the turbo button and pressing up all of the time. <laughs> How do you clear a game? Let's try another game. Or something saying about Chippendale? Oh yeah, the home room game. All right, yes. I'm, I'm trying to find the right buttons to play. Well. Okay, this is just... Seriously. They ripped off me. And of course, the one up is over here. Fireball. Oh, how original. <laughs> they even used the sounds. This one too? <laughs> what? What just happened? Oh, I can get hit. All right, not bad at all. We got the fighting game, the kung fu game, and we have all the sounds here. Ow! Wow! Come on, wicked! Oh yeah, hit him in the balls. Hit him in the balls. Works every time. Come on! Mm, mm, mm. I must say the controls are very nice. Ow. In the face. Come on, little boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it in, boy. Come on. My fist of thunder cannot be defeated. Ooh. Okay guys, so when it comes to classic 8-bit Fabricon TV console, yeah, nothing has been changed actually, simply because when you're looking at what you're going to get, the games, the TV out function, it's more of the same. Yeah, so maybe I can have a brain fart. I think they had it over there too, because they keep using, reusing the same stuff that we have seen like in the beginning when I started even YouTube. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family, and let me know what do you think of this product. Are they brain farting or is it just another way to make some extra cash? And it was great to see you in the next video.